welcome back to the channel in this video we will be discussing about the second problem of today's weekly contest minimum path cost in a grid so we are given a 2d grid of size m cross n and the, and we are also given a 2d cost array move cost which will uh, and we are saying that we will start from the first row and we have to end anywhere in the last row and what we need to find is what is the minimum cost to move from any of the cell from the first row to any of the cell in the last row now regarding movement you can take any move from a row r to r plus 1 from in, from from any cell c to any of the cell in the next cell uh, next row so for example from 3 you can move to 4 or 0 similarly from 4 you can move to either 2 or 1 so what you have to find is what is the total cost to reach from the from any of the cell in the first row to any of the cell in the last row so let's just take an example so this let's say this is the move cost the 2d array that is given for the move cost and this is the grid now how to interpret this move cost this move cross denotes that let's say this uh, let's talk about this 10 or maybe let's talk about this 18 so this 18 denotes that the cell which have value 3 if you if that's if you take a move to next row to zero column you will be paying 18 unit of amount so for like here the cell is 3 cell with value 3 if you move to the zeroth column of the next row you will be paying 18 so this this is what this uh, move cost denote so let's just take one more uh, so for example if uh, let's take this 6 so this 6 basically denotes if you start from the cell 3 and if you go to the next row with column 1 you will be paying 6 so if you start from cell 3 cell with value 3 and if you go to the next row with column 1 you will be paying 6 so hope this move is clear um, what exactly this move array denotes is clear now let's just see from 5 you know that you can go to either 4 or to 0 right so let's try to find out what is the cost of moving from 5 to 0 so how you will find out the 5 is at 0 0th row right so 5 is at 0th row so this like 0th row is this and uh, sorry 5 is at like the five, value of 5 is this right so now it is saying that if you move from 5 like fifth row uh, fifth this 5 denotes the value that this column is actually the value right so this is saying that if you move from 5 and you go to the cell 0 you will be paying 14 so if you move from 5 if you go to 4 you will be paying 14 similarly if you move from 5 to cell 1 you will be paying 13 so if you move for this 5 to 0 arrow is 13 so hope this uh, what this move array denotes is clear now simply saying if you need to find out what is the cost of moving from this cell to any of the next row here like any of the cell in the next row the value would be this the row uh, you, you know the row denotes the value right so you will just find the first the first uh, index would be the row and second will be the column the next column in which you want to jump so from here to here the cost would uh, the cost would be given by this expression so now this is one of the piece that is confusing in the problem so now we have solved now what we need to find is uh, starting from for any of the cell in the first row we have to reach any of the cell in the last row so there are multiple possible ways this is one path similarly this is another path so among all such paths, we need to find out the path which has the minimum cost. Now let's try to solve this. So first of all, let's see. Uh, let's start on the first, very first cell. Let's say like the the we are we are starting from uh, cell f of r comma c. Okay. So now what you will do? So you you can move. You you know that you, from here you can move to any of the cell in the next row right so from here you can either move to this cell this cell this cell or 
these cells, right? So now let's say you take a move. You decided to move from uh, from this cell to this cell. Okay. So now what we'll do? What is the well uh, like? You basically what you did is just now you eliminated a row at uh, the first row at all. Now what you are saying is instead of finding the smallest path from this cell to the to any of the cell in the last row, you need to find the smallest path from this cell to any of the cell in the last row. So hope you can see the recursion here. So now what exactly you need to do? Let's define a function f f of r c like uh, which will denote the minimum cost to reach the last row last row like any of the cell in the last row from the cell r comma c. So if you start from here, you you reach any of the cell here. You will be you will be taking f of r c amount like this is the medium cost. Now, from f of r c, how do you calc like how do you calculate now f of r c? So, from f of r c, you know that you can go to any of the cell f of r plus one comma c dash right. So we see that c dash is any of the uh, any value of from zero to c uh, c like total number of columns. So when you take let's say you move f of from f of r to f of r plus one comma zero, right? So you you move from this cell to the next row with zeroth column. So you f of r plus one comma zero will denote the value that you let's say you you take this move. Now if you take this move, f of r plus one comma zero will denote what will be the minimum cost of moving this like from moving here to the last row, right? So it can take any path like from uh, it can take uh, sorry yes uh, yeah so it can take any path starting from like this 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 or any of the path here and it will give you the minimum cost f of r, r plus one comma c you will just add the cost that you pay to move here so that let's say that we just find out the cost right this is the cost so uh, we you will add the Cost. So this will be the cost to, of moving from here to the last row, having said like having the first move to this row, to, to this column. Now what all extra like what all extra move are there? You can move from here to here as well. So let's uh, you will try to move there as well, like f of r plus one comma c. So basically you will try every possible scenario that you that you know from the current cell to the next row and just call the recursion to find out the next answer so this would be the high level step that you will be following from for f of rc you will you will find like for each next column like you you will try every possible move right so for each next column you will find out the cost to move to rc with using that uh, uh, formula that we just derived now after that you will just do a minimum you will take the minimum across all such like all such next columns right so hope this particular solution is clear now let's just look at the code to make it more clear so what we have de decided is like uh, this uh, this is main cost is our f of rc like you can see there are only two values row comma column and others are constant now from this we are saying if we are at the last row number of like well, we will be requiring zero uh, zero cost to move to the last row because we are already at the last row now for any other row we will be visiting all the next column like all the column in the next row and we find out the what what is the value spent so value spent would be this uh, we find out this row grid of row comma call plus this the next column where we are uh, moving towards so this is the movement cost like this is the cost of this edge apart from this question also said that you have to add the cost of all the like add the value of all the cells you have visited so we are just adding the cell that we are going to visit row plus one comma next and this is the uh, cost of this move now you just paid this cost and now you are finding like what is the minimum cost from here to the last row by just calling the same function so hope this particular piece is clear like you just uh, like you have to memorize it because so that you don't calculate it more than once so if you have any doubts here 
please post them in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you.